regular reps are fine. Get it all the way up, all the way down. You can see in this bicep curl, I'm able to get it from the bottom position all the way up, even get a good squeeze in my bicep at the top. But when I get fatigued, I mean, these weights are really heavy. Next, you can do partial reps. And in these, partial is referring to the range of motion. It's not quite all the way up. If I can't get them up, it's just a way to keep the muscle going. Notice how the reps aren't all the way to the top, but that's fine. Oh, I just fatigued the bicep right to the maximum amount. Just because you can't finish with a full rep range of motion doesn't mean you can't finish with a partial rep because that intended muscle group is still working right to the end. When you push it right to the end, you can expect to have a huge pump in your muscle. It works for everything else too, not just a bicep curl. Let's take it into the overhead press as well. The overhead press, this is a good amount of weight for this one. You can see my arms are extending all the way up, but as I get to the end of the set, it gets a little bit harder. This is the partial range of motion. I'm not going all the way up, but I'm actually getting that targeted muscle to fire as much as it can. So you're not getting the absolute most, but in that set, being able to push it a little bit further with partial reps, that works. It's a partial range of motion, but that intended muscle, my shoulders, they're on fire because I gave it five extra partial reps. I didn't just stop before the partial reps. I took it a little bit further, got more blood in the muscle. Therefore, my shoulders are looking a little bit bigger, feeling bigger, and they got more work.